Real quick before we start, I am currently running a little Christmas giveaway. There are free prizes up for grabs as you can see on screen and all you need to do to enter is follow the link below, read the terms, subscribe to the channel and submit your entries. Be sure to drop a like as well for, uh, good luck I guess, and let's get into the video. Okay, you know the main character of The Legend of Zelda, right? You know, Princess Zelda? Okay, yeah, that joke's old now. I get it. Of course, I am talking about our favourite boy, Sidon. I mean, what a hero this guy is. He's a dashing, tremendous young Zora prince. He's tall, funny, confident, and man can swim. I mean, wow. Huh. Still not having it. Well, I guess that leads us to the next best thing. Our boy, Link. Whilst he is no Sidon, he is the one who basically does a little thing known as saving Hyrule every few hundred years, no big deal. But something that is made apparent across the majority of the series in his many appearances is the legendary hero takes two main forms, a child and young adult. Now this is all well and good as it works very well, but have you ever asked yourself the question, what if Link was portrayed differently? I mean, creatively speaking, the Zelda team are not limited to portraying him as a youngster or angry teen like in Twilight Princess. I mean, that Link probably blasts MCR in his room when he isn't out saving Hyrule. But as I was saying, what if the hero was portrayed differently? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to discuss today. Be sure to go and grab yourself a snack or a drink and send them in on social media to get featured right here. And with Without further ado, let's take a look at 5 concepts for a new Link in the Legend of Zelda series. The hero is always a hero. The one who comes to the aid of Princess Zelda in the Kingdom of Hyrule. The one who wields the Blade of Evil's Bane and seals the darkness. But what if this image of the hero was completely reversed, making him the opposite of a hero, a villain? I'm sure this is something all of us have thought about at one point or another, an evil Link. Now, I don't think this would work in the sense of Link just being evil from the get-go. There would have to be a reason, and a story and plot twist I believe would work really well for this is Link becoming corrupted. The obvious idea that jumps out to me is a malice infection, but I think we can be a little bit more creative than that. My idea for this concept would be that early in the game's story, Link is taken prisoner by whoever the forces of evil are this time around. During his imprisonment, someone like a sorcerer akin to Aghanim from A Link to the Past could face the hero, further using their unworldly powers to break the hero and corrupt him into a state of darkness. This would work similarly to how Ganondorf possessed Princess Zelda in Twilight Princess, but only this time we are playing out a storyline on the side of evil. The chances of this happening aren't overly high in my opinion for a main series game, but we do know Nintendo are not shy with spin-off titles. However this could potentially be done would turn out so amazing and the story itself has so many paths it could take. Would the corrupt Link find his way back into the light? Would Hyrule be doomed as their saviour turns against them? And how on earth would this affect the timeline? Perhaps some of these questions are best left unanswered until this actually happens, if it ever does. Now, for this pick, I want to make something very clear before getting into it. I do not necessarily believe that this is a good decision, but definitely one worth mentioning and discussing. I am referring to a Link that could talk. Now, this has been a heavily debated topic for some time in the Zelda community, and the release of Breath of the Wild has only sparked the conversation more. Personally, I do not believe Link should ever be given a voice outside of his... <coughs> I won't go too much into why, as I do wish to discuss the idea of a more vocal Link, but I just see it going down bad. For one, it will divide the fanbase in a horrible way. A lot of fans would not be happy with it, and I'm not talking about unhappy in the sense of Breath of the Wild's reign. I'm talking like, wouldn't enjoy the game kind of unhappy. Then there is finding who to actually voice this iconic character who for over 30 years has been known for not having a voice, and there's just so many other issues. I just wouldn't like to see it personally. Personally, but I know many of you would and I'm willing to discuss that, even if you're wrong. Just kidding. Or am I? Anyway, Link talking. Hmm. I think that it would be interesting. I mean, voice acting in general is pretty new to the Zelda series if we exclude you-know-who. Great! 
I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Breath of the Wild was the first game to really include it, and whilst there's been mixed opinions on that, I personally loved it. Sure, some people were heavily against the likes of Princess Zelda and Yonobo, but I liked it. If you were to add Link into the mix of this, I think the games would play out very differently. The dynamic would be so, so different. They'd have a similar effect to how Breath of the Wild is a very different Zelda experience, but still feels like a Zelda game. We all know the characters do talk and communicate with each other as, you know, communication is very important, but we just don't actually hear it. If, and this is a big if, if Link was to one day be given a voice, I'd like it to be in touch of how Breath of the Wild approached voice acting. Cutscenes only. I still wouldn't personally like it, and Link for me would kind of be ruined, but if this was to happen, I'd hope it is within cutscenes only. As for Link himself, he's already a quiet guy, so maybe just hearing what he's thinking some of the time would be kind of cool to see. It's hard to say, really. <laughs> Get it? It's hard to say? You laughed, don't lie. But yeah, it's an interesting idea, and I'll leave it at that. Something that is very much integrated into the Legend of Zelda series is the limitations of customization. Up until Breath of the Wild, players have been very limited in terms of tunics, armor, and even weapons. This isn't a bad thing though, as that worked really well for past installments, but with the way Breath of the Wild looks to be taking the series, I think we can expect to see the range of clothing and personalization to increase. Bringing me to the concept of a customizable Link. Now, I don't mean getting to dress him up like build the boy, pick my pieces, overjoyed. I'm talking about an actual character builder. Obviously, this may never happen in a main series title, but it definitely is possible for a spin-off. I'm talking about getting to choose gender, age, personality traits, and maybe even strengths and weaknesses. The only thing I'd keep locked is how he looks. That should stay, but I believe giving players these options would make for a very personal experience. That would truly be putting yourself in the hero's footsteps. It's not the biggest or most complicated concept, but something that is for sure an interesting idea to think about. As mentioned during the introduction of the video, the hero is portrayed at two stages of his life, youth and adulthood. He is always seen as either the young, curious, and brave child Link, or the more controlled, heroic, and adventurous adult Link. But something that I think would be really cool is seeing the hero at a grander stage of life. An elderly Link. Now, as much as a slightly older 30s, 40s Link would be cool, I don't want to see the midlife crisis Link. I mean, I've not even had mine yet, and hopefully never will, but never mind playing out his. <sighs> I personally believe that an old man would fit kind of well. I saw a lot of comments on my recent post asking all of you about a new concept for Link, and something I saw a lot of was an older Link. A hero of the past who lives to tell his tales. An almost war veteran style of character who is recalled into action, but at an older age. Going off the lore and history of the series, there wouldn't be a younger Link for this granddad to mentor, but perhaps a storyline similar to the Wind Wakers in a sense, where it's not actually the hero saving Hyrule. Rather, someone stepping up to fill the position, and this older man could act in a similar sense to the hero's shade from Twilight Princess and teach the younger and more suited hero for the job. If not that, we could even see this older Link being called back into action as evil rises once again, and the hero of Hyrule is forced out of what must have felt like retirement, and go face to face with the malice plaguing the land of Hyrule once again. The look for this guy would be a sort of beaten up veteran, a man with scars from his past battles and a white grizzly beard to match. This hero would also be an amazing opportunity to make a ton of references and callbacks to past games and events. I mean, Zelda fans are absolute suckers for references to the past games. Honestly, an older, beaten up and veteran style Link is something I adore and would really love to see happen someday. Just imagine the final battle of that game, a showdown of the ages between the greatest hero of the land and the demon haunting the land. That would be epic. Something that you will notice whilst experiencing a Zelda game is that the character we play as tends to be rather emotionless. Sure, he will have his moments here and there where he cracks a smile or fears for his life, but overall, the boy in green is a rather silent one. In some storylines, this is due to him having a task at hand and putting all focus towards it, relinquishing all emotions and thoughts to keep ahead on his task. Other times, he just doesn't show it much. The most expressive we see Link, in my opinion, would probably be either the Wind Waker or Skyward Sword's appearance of the hero, but even then, he is rather subtle with his emotions. 
leading me to this final pick. A new take on the hero that myself and many others would like to see is an emotional link. This ranges from so many things, basic facial expressions, opening up on the pressure he feels and just feeling more human to the player. Link is a silent protagonist for a reason. It's partially so the player can feel the experience themselves and their emotions are the hero's emotions, which works so, so well. But what if one day this changed for an installment? A story where, without the hero talking, we get to visually see how he is feeling. I'm talking smiles, laughs, frowns, some goddamn tears please, like let it out boy it's healthy for you, Link. Just a more expressive and emotional hero. Yes, it would make the experience less personal to us, the players, but would create a deeper understanding of how Link feels and acts. In that previously mentioned post where I asked all of you about your ideas for a new concept, this was definitely the most suggested one. A hero who shows how he feels, a courageous lad who isn't afraid to let it all out, and most importantly, a hero who we can feel and understand. That is a concept I'd love to see brought to life in the future. Thanks a ton for watching, you lovely human. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a like to show your support, and subscribe to the channel for more Zelda content. What do you think of these potential concepts for Link? I can't say that I think any of them will come to fruition anytime soon, but hey, it's a fun discussion. Leave a comment below and look out for my replies, I look forward to reading them. A very special and heartfelt thank you goes out to all of my channel supporters across both Patreon and YouTube. I love you guys so much and cannot thank you enough for your continued support to the channel. Special mention to the newest member of the elites, Chris P. Bacon. What a name. I love it, who joined through the YouTube Memberships program. Thank you so much for joining, and if any of you watching would like to help support the channel too and what I do here on YouTube, then consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.